Man, you know what I'm in the mood for? I'm in the mood to make a new video. Let's take a look at my little video idea box. Okay, let's see. Looking for a game. Looking for a game. Uh, oh. What's this? What's this little game? F-Zero, a classic among racing games and relegated to forever only be represented in Smash Bros. You know, if Nintendo's not going to pay attention to this series, then by golly, I will. F-Zero is hands down one of my favorite Nintendo legacy IPs. It just hits a certain spot that nothing else has really been able to capture. If you're just looking for some fun times with your family, you can play Mario Kart. Now if you're a sadistic freak, you can participate in the blood sport of F-Zero. F-Zero isn't your granddad's racing game. This game is to the extreme! No seriously, it's insane. It's so fast! Captain Falcon has never been shy about showing his moves. Ever since its beginnings in 1990, F-Zero has always been a spectacle to watch. Behold! Mode 7. Neat. You know, you gotta put yourself into the time period that this game was made. This was at the start of the 90s. The next Nintendo console had just come out, and the Sega Genesis had a fantastic sound chip and blast, blast processing! Nintendo's response was Mode 7, and this bad boy served as a freaking amazing addition to a lot of games. It allowed backgrounds to be rotated in scale, and more importantly, it even gave games perspective. To really showcase this, Nintendo wanted to create a thrilling, high-octane racing game that showcased this new technology, and F-Zero was born. And man, what a fantastic showcase. This game is still a blast to play 30 years later, and sure, other games may do its job better and may even look better, but this game still really captures that arcadey feeling. My biggest gripe is that there's no multiplayer. And you know, I, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, now that we got the granddad of F-Zero out of the way, let's take a look at my favorite installment. F-Zero X for the N64. So, a little backstory, and I don't really know why, but while I was in middle school, I got into this really weird F-Zero phase where I just suddenly felt the need to play all of the games. And this was the first one that I decided to play. It's beautiful. <laughs> I laugh at your puny Mario Kart. Look at those little pixels. Only eight players? Pathetic. We got 60 FPS, 30 player racers, actual cars, and some of the fastest high speed gameplay in any racing game. This was literally one of the first racing games to actually run in 60 FPS. And it was also one of the few games on the N64 to run at 60 FPS, which is quite the milestone. And if I'm being honest, after playing F-Zero X, I can't really go back to Mario Kart 64. You don't like Mario Kart? Huh? No! 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 Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a fantastic game in its own right, but I think that F-Zero just looks better, plays better, and is just a lot more fun to play. Sure, the game is a little crusty now, but that can be said for just about every game from this era. It's fast, it's smooth, and it's freaking hard as balls! This is by far one of the hardest games that I've ever had to play, but dude, does it give you that freaking sweet endorphin rush when you play it. On my original copy, I managed to unlock every character, every track, and let me tell you, that feeling of success I felt afterwards, perfect, like nothing else. The AI is completely ruthless, and they're not even subtle about the blatant rubber banding. Now, you might be wondering what rubber banding is, and to put it in short terms, rubber banding is when you're in the lead and your opponents are able to instantly catch up and even overtake you. You might think you're in the clear, but nope, there is a computer conveniently on your tail. There have been too many times when I'm this close to winning, and then the computer comes and takes that away from me. Or I die. Oh yeah, I almost forgot! The biggest thing about these games is that you can actually die in them. It's one of the cornerstones of the series, actually. And it's something that I really, really dig. You only have a certain number of lives per Grand Prix, and when you're out, it's game over. And the other racers are actually able to kill you. Just grazing a wall can kill you. Boosting can almost kill you. Oh, and winning can kill you. You're able to fight off all of these hooligans with a side attack and a spinning attack. <laughs> Man, murder feels great! Speaking of murder, there's the coolest mode that I've ever seen in a video game. It's called Death Race. And the rules are pretty simple. You're driving in a loop, and it's just you and 29 other computers. Now kill them all. This is freaking dope. 
Sure, once you've played it once, you've played it enough, but man, this just gels perfectly with the vibe of F-Zero. Oh, also, before I forget, there is a lot of exploits in this game that add a lot of depth. Now, the exploit that I thought was the coolest is called Rail Drifting. If you hit a wall just right, you can reach unbelievable speeds. Just look at this madness. The next game is F-Zero Maximum Velocity. I haven't played this game. Next! F-Zero GX, the magnum opus of the series. The peak of F-Zero. This game is what it means to be an F-Zero game. This game was literally so good that they stopped making F-Zero games because they didn't know where to go next. That's a pretty high bar, and does this game reach it? Yes it is! Why are you still here? Stop watching and just play this game! Okay, so look, you know my little thing back there about F-Zero X being hard? I take that back. F-Zero X is a cakewalk compared to GX. I can't even beat the story mode, and that's fantastic. This game puts all your skills to the test, and this game is absolutely ruthless, especially in the story mode. Yeah, that's right, there's a story mode now. And it's as cheesy as you can possibly get. I love me some of that good old 2000s cheese. Just, just take it in. Just have a moment and take it in. The gameplay has been further refined to an absolute extreme. Everything feels tight, the controls are perfect, and you feel in control of your vehicle, which makes every victory and every loss that much more uplifting or crushing. And you know, even with all this refinement, there's even more exploits, which are really cool. The biggie this time is called snaking, and trust me, if you're gonna play this game, you should learn this technique. It'll make a lot of it much easier. By tapping L and R and moving the joystick, you can break the freaking sound barrier. It's dope. Okay, so you have a tool for speed, now let's use it for the story. No, no! It's too fast! Ah! F-Zero GX has that perfect arcade coin-eating difficulty. The story is absolutely bonkers, and the difficulty is enough to drive a man insane. I'm basically a masochist for wanting to play this game and spending hours doing so. Even then, I haven't been able to beat it. And that's a great thing. Most video games have sacrificed a lot to become more approachable in the recent years. But not F-Zero, man. Let me tell you, F-Zero has the coke up thrills and fast-paced gameplay that make it the absolutely perfect slap in the face. The perfect arcade racer. So, how did this series finish off? With a GBA anime tie-in game. It's okay, buddy. Go ahead. Cry. Well, Nintendo may have forgotten about this series, but leave it to other people to pick up the slack. Fast Racing is a superb series that picks up in F-Zero's footsteps, and it serves as an almost perfect successor to F-Zero. Go give it a shot, they have games for the Wii, Wii U, and Switch. And that's F-Zero. For better or for worse, it really does look like GX is going to be the last console game we get. And that sucks, but you know, we always have these old games to go back to. And I highly recommend it, they are still fun and they still hold up today. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you want to stay updated, hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.